Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So I've done, I've been doing some digging. I haven't been doing a whole lot. Uh, haven't been on a ton. Here I've got, this is all pretty much the same. Nothing done smelting. And then, oh, well, that's the same. And I extended the height of a couple floors here. And, oh yeah. So, there's, there's a lot of dripstone in this cave here, so I decided to uh, mine some and build a dripstone farm. So this goes here and it does its thing. Uh, I'm starting to collect some. This is a pretty cool mechanic. I like the way it works. Um, so this is... I've got water up here. Up above. Let me take a look. Just water, plain old water. And then there's dripstone with water on top of it and pointed dripstone down below. It get, You get these particles and then these will grow. They're very slow. That's why I put like three rows of it. And then they will actually build um, stalagmites down on the bottom as well. So you get, it's like double, double, double. Okay. This showed up. It's uh, it's thanks to Barb makes things. She built a, she found a lush cave, and grabbed some glowberries and planted them in this big cavern here, which is kind of cool. And she saw this little window, an opportunity to do it in such a way that I would find it, um, just by chance. So that's cool. Um, so now I now have glowberries. And then down here, I've been digging out this space, and it's a lot taller than the one up above. So I obviously miscalculated a little bit, um, but this is my sort of entrance into the cavern. I wonder if I should move this up one spot. See how this, in order to go out into the cavern here, it's down, well, I don't know. Uh, this is so tall that I'm not going to be able to put lights in the ceiling here the way I have been in other places. Yeah. Let's run downstairs real quick for a sec. See if we can uh, find something down here. This is my mine down here. And created a new little shaft there. This is where I was going up and get into that big cavern. But... Well, there's iron right there that I didn't mind for some reason. But I realized that I could go in a little bit more directly into the area where I wanted to, to put the slime farm. So this is going to be my slime farm. I don't know if this is a perfectly appropriate AFK spot, but I think it is. So I believe that these are three slime chunks. I know that this one is. I'm 99% sure this one is. I believe that one is too. Um, although I haven't seen a lot of spawns from it yet. I also suspect this might be a slime chunk over here. So I might have a four slime chunk area here. Um, there's only one spawning layer. So I should, I want to start building those up. So, oh, there's iron up there. I should go get all that. So this has been good. Digging out these has helped with my uh, deep slate supplies because I've been using deep slate in the nether. Probably a poor choice of block because deep slate's really expensive. There's no way of generating it. But anyway, this is, uh, this is my slime farm. And if I hang around here long enough, uh, I will get slime spawning. And so I think if I start building up, like if I, I 
dig a little clear. It's like a three block channel around there and then start digging up above all three of these. I could get little spawning platforms in and start uh, collecting slimes. So I'm, I'll probably start doing that. It's a lot of work and there are a ton of caves through here, which probably if I, if I got more of the stuff around here lit up would probably help with the, the slime spawn rates. But I do see slimes. I, I know I've seen it with my own eyes here. I've turned around and seen suddenly where there was no slime like a moment before here. And I'm pretty sure I saw the same thing over here. So I, I that's, that's my thing. So I just put in this here to get me far enough away that they will actually spawn. Uh, because this here is too close. And I have a, a more direct route there. And I should check and see. This is this might be too close to the other portals to actually put another portal in here. But it's my new nether, my new slime farm place. So I have some slime. I have a few stacks of slime, which is great. Uh, I'm mining down there. When little mining session last night just killing time and uh ended up with like a stack of diamond ore which is pretty cool but with all the villagers that we have access to now diamonds aren't as uh, useful i have more than enough diamonds i think for the probably the rest of the game which is uh, an interesting concept not that it'll stop me from trying to get more but Anyway, I planted some glow berries up here. I think it's kind of a cool lighting scheme. Not entirely practical as a way of getting light in the entire room. But anyway, this guy stole my boat. Want to see something fun? Bloop. Ha. Oops. Okay, skellies. It's your turn. Ah, there's one. So, um, this is kind of cool. Of course, the skeletons fall through the powder snow like everyone else does. And then they get cold. And they freeze. And they become strays. Ah, look at that. They shiver. That's so funny. Um, and then they shiver. And you can get tipped arrows out of them, which is kind of cool. I don't know how useful realistically that is in a combat situation. But being able to slow down, especially... Ah, there's one. Whoa, he's got thorns. I have to wait for the rest of them to convert. Uh, so their drops are identical to those skeletons, but they do they do have the tipped arrows, so you can get some of those. And if you have looting on your sword, the chances of getting tipped arrows actually goes up quite a bit. The problem is, I have fire aspect on my sword, and that seems to melt the powder snow. <laughs> so this isn't a, a terribly practical thing. Unless I do something where I hold them in another place and convert them there and then send them over here. I don't know. Uh, but, so if, you, so if I punch them, I can punch around. Okay, you can convert. I'll punch the guys that don't have armor. And... Uh, and let's see. Ah, see, it's taking, it's taking more. Anyway, not super practical, but kind of fun. See, the powder snow went away. And the powder snow might slow their fall, so it might actually... So I got three more there. Uh, might actually make this so that this is not a practical uh, mob softener. Oh, there's more. See, that's pretty cool. It's fun. Um, and I have, you know, 
powder snow cauldrons out in front of my place so I can go grab one every now and then and come back and drop it off. And then with the oops, put that away. Put that away. Uh, and then with the so yeah, so I need to see if I can develop a sword that doesn't have the fire aspect on it. Um these guys, uh, but the power snow seems to disappear eventually anyway, so uh, I don't know if that would particularly help. Anyway, I thought that was fun. And I've got mending on everything now, so I can repair everything pretty easily. Now there's two of them in the boat. Welcome to my Mushroom Island. So, I have to decide where I'm going to build. I want to start building my little sort of home here. And I think I want to put it like right about here. It's going to be a little bit of a tower. It's not going to be super huge to start. And I brought some stuff to build to help me with the building. Um, and I think what I want to do is move away from this a little bit to set up some infrastructure. Because I don't want it kind of sitting there being in the way. I figured it's going to be easier to be able to generate some of the stuff I need rather than going and lugging stuff back and forth between the old base and this new base. So, um... So I kind of want this to be permanent home. Oops. Ah, blah, 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 blah. What are you doing? Go up here. And I want to I want to preserve this mycelium as much as possible. So, whoa. Interesting. So, and part of what I should be doing is some of the stuff should, I should dig underground. I should build underground stuff. But for now, oh, look at the fishies. Oh, I need to go out and explore the coral reef there. So part of the um, conundrum has been what to build out of. I want to build sort of modern structures and I was thinking kind of brutalist you know modern style brutalism structures and to do that concrete's the obvious choice but I don't have a lot of sand I know where there's a desert so I could uh, go mine a bunch of sand and then I've got some gravel um, and I could just go do it a lot more mining for gravel uh, but that's, I don't know that that's uh, exactly what I want to do. And I eventually want to cover out and, and spread out and cover a lot of this. But I don't want to lay down, I'm going to have to do some stuff like I want to grow trees, but I don't want the dirt and the pods all from the giant spruces to like contaminate and take over and spread over this stuff. So... I'm going to want to build an area and maybe build like a, a man-made island where I can do some of that stuff. So treat this almost like a skyblock type situation. Sun's going down. Not worried about mobs here because they won't spawn. Ooh, that could be fun. 
And I don't know how far down that that counts that goes because or obviously I don't know how far down that cape goes, but I don't know how far down the no bob spotting thing happens because it's possible that um, the below here is a different biome. Now, for all I know, there's a lush cave down below here. Uh, it's getting it's getting late. It's getting dark. Let me put down. Let me grab my bed. And sleep. All right. I'm going to want to do a farming operation with these cows, with these mushrooms. Hi, guys. Because that's going to be my food source. And what I want to build here, I don't necessarily want to want to wander too far away from where I'm going to be living. So maybe we go back. There's some sand here. Is this still the same biome? No, this is technically a warm ocean. Ha! Huh. Well, hello, Mr. Creeper. So mobs can spawn right along here. Good to know. There's probably going to be little pockets like that around. And I know there's a lava lake here somewhere, a small one, a little pocket of surface lava. So with all the warm ocean around here and the coral reef on the other side over there, I'm thinking decorating with coral might be a, a useful thing. And I could build the kelp farm and use Cope blocks, maybe. Be nice to keep the materials relatively like local materials. So I'm going to build over by where I want to build my thing. Not too close, but not too far. And. That's where I want my first structure. I will build, uh, you know what? Let's build it down here. Let's grab my silk touch shovel. And this stuff should, uh, my ceiling should be spread, right? Well, I'm going to build on top of it, so it won't necessarily all return. But it'll come back eventually. Is this enough space? Yeah, I think this is enough space. Um... Okay, so I brought some of this. I hope I brought a crafting table. I think I have a crafting table over there. Okay, so I'm going to build a stone generator. Because I think that'll be a fine way to go about doing this. Oh, you know what? I need hoppers. I'm going to have to go get those relatively soon. Unless I. I don't 
think so. So this is, and I need a crafting table. Okay, so this is the basic shape of what I need for the stone generator. Let me go get some hoppers because I should have done that before I came over. Okay, so this is a starting point of what I'm trying to do. Oops, not there. Get my pick. Leave that alone. And do this along the back. These are unnecessary. I can remove them later, I guess. Oops. I think they're unnecessary. So that's the back of the machine. Yeah, that should be not necessary. Although from an aesthetic standpoint, I may want to include that. All right. So, and then if I put three, four, and I put a chest here, I brought chest, remember? Yep. I put a nice double chest here. And then I dig out here. All right. So, and I grab those hoppers. I brought hoppers. I run a line into the chest. It rains. Well, that's that's uh, unfortunate. I guess I should have known that. Let's go to sleep and get rid of this rain. It's not making for a great video. All right. So now we just build up. Blah blah blah. Build up this. Nope. Yeah. You have an axe there and use it. Yeah, I think that's okay, right? Because I can mine. It's not like I have a beacon or anything yet. No, I do. Okay. There we go. And then we build up here. This doesn't feel right. What's something's wrong here? I'm doing this wrong. Hang on a second. Yeah, I'm doing this wrong. Hang on a sec. Let me grab this. I knew what I was doing. And then, there we go like that and then I will bucket and bucket oops bucket okay so I got four sources of water there all right uh, let's refill the buckets before I go and that is this is why I brought slabs. There we go. And 
Oops, grab my silk touch. Okay. Put a slab down there. You could probably hear my dog. Oh, that's right. I, I did that over there, too. Oh, come on. Slap, and then slab. And that way I can't step up on top of this block that sticks out underneath the thing there. Okay, so that's good. So, that contains the water, and then we put more stone bricks there. Uh, like, and we can take out some of these corner pieces. That's not necessary. Oh, we can walk under here. We can jump up. Okay, so now. Oh, and then I need more slabs. Here, here, here and here. This protects the... Oh, those don't have to be slabs. Those could be whole blocks. And honestly, probably should. All right, because... We want to expose these, and now we are going to grab these lava buckets. It takes a little while, but it will turn that into stone because it's flowing water. And just to be as fast as possible, I'll put four lava buckets to make sure that they all get turned into stone as quickly as possible. And because I don't want anybody getting stuck in here, uh, there are eight open things there. And you know what? I think I kind of want, um, I want more slabs. So let's go quickly over to the crafting table, make another set of slabs and cover up the lava with slabs because if I had glass, I would use that. But I don't have enough glass. Oh, I really apologize. The Bowser's snoring like crazy over there. Um, and bloop, bloop, exactly. Perfect. Let's go back over there. And... Yeah, this, I think this is a good location. It's not very far away. And it's kind of hidden by the train. It's not like it's an ugly structure, but... All right, so put a torch over there. And get myself a slab. Oops. Ah, come on. Learn to... Slab, 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 because I don't need any buddy accidentally burning themselves to death in here. So is this, this may not be necessary. No, it's not. This is definitely not. There's water in there. This is not. Okay, so this looks a little more architectural. Now, I could take out some of these 
some of these along the base and I might do that. I might play around with that, but obviously don't want to risk risk lava coming out and like burning myself. So now, now we have two things of stone here. I've got a silk touch pick. If I get a beacon, I could probably get all four out because it's within my reach, but no need to worry. Now I have all the stone I need without having to dig down and do mining. Look at that. Oh, here's some slabs that I had. Look at that. Already half a stack of stone. Cool. Okay, so. This is all very good. And then if I switch to my fortune pick, I get cobblestone. So it's a dual stone cobblestone generator, which is kind of cool. Okay. And I don't need to light it up, I don't think, because why? Okay, so this will help with the construction project as it goes over here because then I don't need to run back home to pick up pockets full of stone and run them over here. And I'm thinking because I don't have the sand and uh, gravel resources to build large constructions out of concrete, I think stone will be a fine substitute for now. So I'm not going to I'm not going to start building now. I want to I need to figure out how much space I need. Like if I put I'm going to put kind of a tower sort of thing here and build up and I want to have a nice view of the ocean around and the Mushroom Island. And I need to go do some exploring to that. The sun is going down and let's uh sleep away the night so we don't it doesn't get too dark. Tree farm. Um, now, of course, I don't have any saplings with me. So let's go and do something about that. And I wanted to get it a little bit away from the island so that it doesn't convert all of the nearby mycelium into podzol. So we definitely need to do some exploring around the Mushroom Island. Uh, I want to find a village so I can kidnap some villagers. I could get them from... Barb's village and track them all the way over here and through the nether. I don't know if I want to do that, but we will see. Okay, here's home. And I don't know if you'll grow at night, but let's see if I can get some trees. I do. Aha, nice. And no pods all here. Excellent. There's pods all underneath, probably, but that's okay. Um, did I? All right. Yeah, I need more ender pearls. I need more ender chests. Shouldn't have to be running around to find them or put it down and worry about picking it up again. But I don't have a good source of ender pearls. Okay, so this is dark. I apologize. And I, and I said, I don't want torches littering the ground all over the place here for lighting. So maybe I could do something like this. Hide torches up underneath some tall mushrooms. That would be appropriate for the area. Oops. That'd be appropriate for the area for sure. go and then nice and subtle lighting oops get rid of that guy and when I get 
more stuff out of the nether, then perhaps I could... Oh, that looks neat. That looks neat. Um, maybe I could grow some of the large nether mushrooms, the warped whatever. Um, and get some of the, the shroom lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we need a mushroom farm, don't we? Even if this is largely decorative. Come on. There we go. Yeah, at least it gives you a sense of light. We don't need to let to keep the ground lit. Now I want to get the portal lit. For sure. Because I want to be able to see that from a distance. And the portal itself gives off a little bit of light. Okay. I think that's neat. I wonder if I hit a light on top in the middle of this, what that would look like. Let's find out. There is a middle block here, right? It's right there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, that's nice. Can't do it on that one necessarily. Oh, that's neat. Take this out. And I can grow these things out here, right? So. I have pretty much infinite bone meal. So, oh, that looks cool. Okay, that's what we're doing. I'm just going to light up all the mushrooms and grow new mushrooms where I need to. I'll have to clear out some of these probably for my, my structure here, but okay. That, that's what I'm doing. And I should probably chop this guy down. Because he's not necessary at all. Okay, let's go harvest some, some wood. From my very out of place giant spruce tree. Okay. So I trimmed off the little platform here a bit. So it fits the footprint of this tree exactly. I think this is basically as big as they get. Um, so let's, uh, let's chop it down. And I need to figure out what to do. With uh, storage. So I want to put like chests for this wood. And other stuff here, wood and the saplings and whatnot, but I don't just want a chest monster growing on the shores here. So I'm wondering if I can put the chest underwater or in the water off the shore and have them be part of the platform, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if chests can be waterlogged. So, and I expanded some of the sugar cane there. Some of this may, I think there's, 
a little deviation as things fall in Minecraft, so it's possible the stuff could still fall into the water, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, so I do have a large number of chests here. And, okay, for right now, I'm just going to stick a double chest here. And we can put all the wood in there. Saplings, bones, and bone meal. And then this, stick this in there for now. And then the crafting table. You know, I could put the crafting table down here. Right underneath the chest, so it's kind of obscured. And put this back. Oops. Ah. There we go. So that's not too bad. Take a look for any floating objects. Don't see any. Okay, well, this might work. Probably also set up a composter over here so I can be throwing extra saplings in it. Let's get additional bone meal so I don't have to be lugging large amounts of bone blocks over from the skeleton farm. Let's light up that guy. All right, I've been going for a little while here. Uh, I think we'll call that uh, a stream. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Bye.